Greetings folks, it is time to fly the Atomar Sea Esheen Seal. It's a beautiful day, hardly any wind. Uh, I have the flying field to myself. Uh, so, let's talk about the seal. I have a 3300 4S LiPo, a Nanotech LiPo in there, in the nose, right up in the nose, and that gets it balanced on the CG points nicely which is 70 millimetres back from the leading edge. All up weight at the moment is uh, just over a kilogram, a kilogram and ten, uh, what is it, 1,010 grams. Um, so without further ado, let's go for a fly. No flight control board, no FPV, just a manual maiden, which is the way you should do it, I think. Control surface check. I have lots of throws, even though they're dialed down to about 75%. Aerons are going the right way. Elevator's good. Rudder's good. I have someone in the way at the moment, so we'll just keep checking. All going well. I have the little FPV unit. Uh, not little, that is a, a big, chunky, powerful video transmitter there. And my FPV, I have some lithium iron packs to try as well. And we'll get some onboard footage too. Right, we are all clear. Now, with these things, with these high mounted motor pushers, they always dip a bit on launch, and I've seen that from other people's videos as well. My elevator is trimmed down a little bit. Why is that? Minimum trim range. Let's trim it up a little bit just to be safe. We're good to go. All right, so decent throw. Not too much throttle, and we should be right. Here we go. And away she goes. Back off the throttle a bit. That is flying beautifully. We're rolling to the right a little bit. Just get it trimmed out. It uh, turns, bank and yank, beautifully. Uh, don't need all that elevator up trim. We've got a little doggy out there, don't want to hassle him too much. Flying nicely, just get that trim right. I think we're pretty right now. Motor off, let's glide it past. It's beautiful, it's easy to fly. Nice. That half throttle. Cruises around just like the Bixlers, like the uh, Sky Surfer. Looking good. Just cruising around nice and slowly. Looks good in the sky. There's a little bit of adverse yaw, but it sort of over, overcomes it pretty quickly. Oh yeah, it does hang the tail a little bit. Glide, nice. Oh, it does dip a bit when you throttle up. I saw that on my friend uh, Ground Control RC's channel just recently. He's been doing some um, mods on the thrust angle of the motor. He's added another two millimeters of packing under the bottom two screws on the motor mount, which which might be a good idea. Let's throttle it up. Yeah, look, it dips. It dips a bit, uh, but just for normal flying around, it's not too bad. Gradual throttle increases just fine. It just keeps flying straight. But if you throttle up, it does dip. Uh, so yeah, tiny bit of thrust angle, extra thrust angle might be good. Not crucial though, I don't think. That's using the rudder to turn. That gives a nicer carving turn. That's just bank and yank. Still works fine, bank and yank. So just cruising around on half throttle. Let's get some current Two, readings. Amps. Three, amps. Three amps at the moment. Three, .3 amps. Three amps cruising around easily. 
So you get long flight times. can almost fly on two amps which is impressive uh, so if you cruise around on three amps say four amps maybe you'll get this much flight time from the 3300 4s that's cool so nice flyer let's get up a little bit what do we got to do? Oh, we got to do a uh, stall test. All right, so let's. There's the stall. Just typical. Dip the nose and pick up lift. Yeah, nothing, nothing radical. It's not going to drop a wing and spin on you or anything like that. Easy to fly. Just cruise around. Nice beginner's plane. Let's go up high and try a bit of gliding. All right, we should. Maximum throttle is almost 30 amps if you want to gun it, but it's really not designed to be pushed hard. Okay, so now we're gliding. Could catch thermals with this plane without any problems at all. And it'll be a great slope soarer too. I might be able to try that a bit later on. The wind's in the right direction. If it picks up a little bit, I'll shoot out to line burners and uh, try my luck on the slope. But I just know it's going to be fantastic. It's all gliding now. Prop's still spinning, so I'd like to set the prop brake. Let's put the FPV on anyway. Seeing this is the FPV model. Beautiful. So far, so good. Flying beautifully. I did notice a tiny little bit of adverse yaw, but nothing to worry about. Could just mix in some rudder or use the rudder. It'd be a good plane to learn using rudder, actually. Slippery wings. Nicely built. Nice firm foam. Uh, not too soft at all. Yeah, pretty good. I did have a little bit of damage in the shipping, uh, but I'm not worried about that at all. Uh, this is the 1500mm version, you can drop it down to 1100mm, uh, I won't do that today but I will in the future. Alright, put the FPV on. Now my FPV setup is pretty rough, I'm just going to tape that there and run the wire down the side, but uh, that'll do for a quick setup. Here we go on FPV, time to fly. Oh, lots of interference. Uh, back it off a bit, that's a bit better. Great stuff, good view from up here. You can cruise around, rolling a bit. Now we're right. Beautiful view. Okay, this is a great plane for FPV cruising. Now we're right. Look at that, beautiful. Now this is only on 200 milliwatts. We've got 800 and 1500 to go. Um, it's going to be gaining altitude all the time. Let's go for a bit of a glide. Oh man, look at this, beautiful. Just gliding now. This is great. <laughs> Must set that prop brake. So we've got a Foxeer Toothless 2 Nano. Uh, it can show the voltage on screen, you can see down there. It can also have the time and the pilot name or the craft name if you want to, which I haven't got on there. I'm just gliding it, that's the, the prop is just freewheeling there. Oh, this is beautiful. Great FPV plane. And the uh, video transmitter is a ridiculous power. Go for a close past. 
<laughs> this is great. Where am I? Uh, there I am. Hello. Beautiful. Purring around. Sipping. 3.3 3 amps. Fly all day. 3.3 amps. 4.2 amps. A bit more power to get more more height. Same with throws, that's about the right amount of throws on the add-ons, that's 75 and 30% expo, that feels good. Elevator, that's about right as well. Rudder, that's plenty of rudder I think. Let's do a, a bit of FPV aerobatics, first we'll do a loop. Ooh, slow to get over there. Going downwind, so maybe I'll come back here and then uh, head back upwind. Sorry, other way around. Power through the loop. Gee, it struggles to get over the loop for some reason. Lowish roll, can do it though, oh, that's all good. So I'm really enjoying this, great view, great colours, I uh, need a little bit of video filtering, flight control board will fix that up. Anyway, better bring it home, there's someone walking around out there. Very nice indeed. So yeah, this is a, a great plane. It's uh, you would think of it as uh, a Bixler two with lots more space for battery uh, battery capacity uh, and carrying FPV gear and flight control boards and things like that. It's uh, it's a it's a modern version of the uh, the classic pusher motor motor glider. Very nice indeed. Doesn't seem to have any bad habits really, a little bit of adverse yaw, but uh, that teaches it to use the, the rudder properly. Uh, got to try it slope soaring now, don't I? Um, and yeah, the wind needs a, a little bit more wind, but it's in the right direction, so maybe I'll leave that to the next video. Very nice plane, the Adam RC e Sheen Seal. It's, uh, it'd be a good beginner's plane, and it would serve you well for FPV, um, you know, long. A uh, long time FB, FBV cruiser, uh, great for that sort of stuff. Thanks for watching. So, what I'm going to try now is the a single Lion pack, which will put the CG back behind the dots. We'll see what happens. So, single 3500 4S Lion pack up in the nose. Makes it a lot lighter. CG is, uh, it would be about a centimetre behind the recommended CG. This could be dangerous, you never know. It's pretty good. Trim right, nosing up a bit, but it's certainly not flying as if it's tail heavy. So it feels lighter, can fly on less than half throttle easily. Not nose heavy at all, and not tail heavy at all. Probably better for gliding. Still going nose up. Come some birds. What are they? They're ibises. Maybe a little nose heavy, uh, maybe a little, little more twitchy, but certainly not unflyable. Feels more like 
a better gliding balance and weight. It's just gliding now. Yeah, that would thermal okay, I reckon. It's cool. Bit of rudder to get it around. There was that adverse yaw exhibiting itself. So, single lithium ion 4S 2500 pack. Yeah, look, it is a little bit tail heavy probably, but still certainly flyable. Oop. Stole it in. What do we lose? The latch. Where did that little latch go? There we go. Well, no dramas. Let's see what damage we've done. I don't think it would have done any damage. This has come up off a little bit. Hasn't even wrinkled up the nose, really. That's pretty impressive. There you go, crash test for you. Due to <laughs> flying it tail heavy and turning it too slowly near the ground. Nice one, Andrew.